Are you like me and find yourself getting easily influenced by viral art videos like on TikTok or Insta? Yeah. And then you're like, oh yeah, I thought I could do that, but can I really? Well, let me take you on a journey. Recently, I was heavily influenced by this incredible artist here who makes these blob cats. And of course I went ahead and did these blob flowers because like I'm super comfortable with flowers, but I'm like, no, no, I wanna do the cats. So this could end really badly for this flower loving gal, but I've just gotta give it a go and I hope you join me. Let's do this. Okay, first things first, we need to make the blobs. And what I noticed, I mean, this artist that I was influenced by definitely has experience painting, sketching, illustrating creatures. And so I'm sure they kind of have a vibe for like where to put a brushstroke that, you know, and even if it's like just an unconscious vibe, like, oh yeah, this is going to turn into a great cat or whatever. I don't have that kind of muscle memory. So I'm just making blobs. I'm kind of running cold here, friends. I mean, obviously, like, I could do this. And yeah, that's probably going to be a good start for a cat. But I'm trying not to be that obvious. So I'm going to get some of my acrylic gouache in here because I've just been having a blast with it. So making the blobs. Just get into the blob making process. Try to figure things out with this blob making process. Okay, I'm, I mean, I'm not an expert here, but I'm gonna say you're gonna stress yourself out if you're like, I'm really trying to make sure that I'm setting myself up for a really strong cat that's sitting with its butt in the air. No, I want you to just really enjoy this part. I want you, I mean, I actually want me to really enjoy this part. I'm telling you to enjoy this part because you're right here along with me. I have not done this before except for flowers. And for me, that's like a no brainer. For me, that's easy peasy. Like it's, I almost felt like I was just a cheater because it's just, it's my comfort subject matter, right? So now that definitely feels too dark and like, because we're gonna ink over top of some of this, okay? Like we're gonna ink, we're gonna, we're gonna just get into it. I'm using multicolor kind of a situation. You could just do one color per blob. That's totally up to you. Okay, so I've got eight blobs here. You might wanna like pop in some mixed media. I definitely want like kind of a wild feel. So I think I'm gonna put a little of the orange in there. I love acrylic gouache when you lay it into a really wet page. It does some lovely things. It honestly acts a lot like gesso. If you've seen my past videos where I've done some stuff with gesso or like a high flow acrylic, um, I've been using the golden um, titanium white high flow acrylic. They call it fluid acrylic lately. So yeah, fun stuff happens there. Now it will resist um, more watercolor if you do decide to put more watercolor over top, just kind of a, a thing to know, but yeah. Cool stuff happening here. Um, I kind of feel like I want to edge in here with a little like flood in some blue. I don't know. I'm literally like, I'm really trying to fight in my brain. Like, what could this cat be? Where is this going to be a fat cat? Who's like, yeah, side view. You're going to start to think towards this stuff. There's just no way around it. But this is a good point in the process to start thinking of it. I don't want you to like obsess over the shape of your blobs. All right. We're in a good state. I'm going to let these bad boys dry completely. And we'll be back soon. I'm starting on this one because I have a strong vibe. And I've realized that maybe these won't all be cats. Maybe I'm just going to go with like critters. I'm definitely getting like a strong like Easter bunny kind of vibe. I don't know. Oh gosh, this is already scaring me. I'm trying to stay loose. I'm trying to stay goofy. I'm trying to stay like it is what it is kind of. Whatever happens, happens. Like a little lop. Okay. Okay. Kind of. He kind of looks, he kind of looks um, like a cross between a sloth 
it, mm, ah, I shouldn't have put the, the tail should have been over here. How could I turn that into? We'll see how it goes. Gotta go with the flow. Let's just talk about the fact that we've got to go with the flow with this. And that's part of the beauty of a project like this. We, we go with the flow. It's teaching me, us, hope, hopefully you're going to paint along here, to, to just take what comes kind of a situation. Now, I'm not going to get into a whole, like, make this a whole painting. But, you know, I had to kind of recover that weirdness there with a little bit of oddly placed grass. Um, be a little nose. Okay. Eyelashes? No. I don't know. Whatever. But, like, I'm not totally upset about it. Very strange looking creature. But that's the point. We are making creatures out of whatever comes. All right. Try not to get my hand in my um, sloth bunny. Okay, this is, I'm getting strong snout vibes, little cheap vibes here. I don't know where the eye would be, kind of there. And then the other, okay, and the ear, of course. All right, all right. Oh, he's kind of cute. Where would the other ear be, kind of here? Yeah. <gasps> Oh, it's happening. Okay. Little, little chubby pig feet. And then, I don't know. We're going to need the tail. The iconic tail. And then I feel like I want some crazy craziness in terms of color. So, because it's a pig. So just bring in some pinkness of show. Blend that back. I love that little cheek. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's cute. Okay. Okay. I can get behind this. All right. Maybe a little like snout action. And all yeah, friends, all perspective, normalcy goes out the window. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm feeling, I'm feeling some joy. I'm not feeling anger. That is a good thing. Challenging myself. Okay. I'm feeling duck up here or pelican perhaps. And I have no reference images, friends. I got nothing. All right. I got nothing. So I'm just going from whatever limited knowledge I have about creature's anatomy and also going with the really like go easy on yourself kind of stuff wait do pelicans hold on that's more pelican like right it's a longer snout you know what and here's the other thing too does it even need to be can it be an imaginary creature absolutely absolutely and i think that's what this is going to be because I don't really know exactly what is happening here, but I'm not abandoning ship. I'm staying aboard. I mean, maybe he has a little quaff, right? Little, little quaff action. Maybe it's like a, um, a buzz cut in the pelican world. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm here for, it's like a pelican troll, if you will. All right, let's just extend a little bit of the color so that makes a little more sense. A little fluorescent there to kind of brighten it up. And this blue should lift a little. But again, I'm not trying to get super like detailed here. I'm not trying to like make it all perfect and fixed, if you will, and pretty. But I do love, you know, have a little bit of mixed media options, you know, in your arsenal. Super cute. All right. All right. I, it does. Do we need eye? I'm very about the eyelashes, apparently. Okay, yes. Yes. Okay, she or he needed lovely eyelashes. Okay, definitely a troll, a pella troll, a pella troll. I have a feel for what this one is wants to be. I don't know if I can pull it off. Okay. Like, you know, when cats kind of like are kittens and they like stand up on their haunches kind of and like 
bat at things. Like I'm kind of like, this is the standing paw. You feel me? And then like, this is the tail kind of a situation. All right. Are you feeling me yet? But where is the, is this like a, the foot of the other paw? Like just silly little kitty belly, like kitty belly, right? Let's make him have a kitty belly. I don't want it to get like R rated. I don't know. And then another, okay. A little paw. I don't know. I, you know, just coax yourself through this, my dear friends. Okay. Coax yourself through this. Cause this is like crazy. This is a challenge, at least for me. I am, I am having a challenged moment. However, I don't know how many toes I think cats have, but apparently it's, it, that looks like more than it needed to be. Uh, all right. Now, maybe little, little toe beans. Toe beans, toe beans. Toe beans, toe beans. Okay. Got excited about the toe beans. I think there's supposed to be more than two toe beans. So I kind of missed that boat. Oh, I don't know. And then when you get nervous, like just go add more details that like I feel like you're confident in. I'm super nervous about where the, the little kitty boop nose, kitty boop nose is going to land. That was all right. Okay. I like the grin. I like the grin. All right. Now, the, the uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what cartoony kitty cat eyes are supposed to look like. Those feel like creepy teddy bear eyes. I don't know what's happening, but it's okay. I'm really enjoying this exercise though. Can I tell you why? Because it's just forcing me way out of my comfort zone, but like in a really delightful way. Does that make sense? Like, even though it's imperfect and I'm clearly like, I think you can sense my nervousness by all the strange things I'm saying and all the weird songs I feel the need to sing. You, I think, I hope, I, I hope, I hope, I think that you see and hear and feel like I'm seriously having a good time. Like straight up, this is fun, all right? I don't know why my cat is like on fire. I don't know why his tail is pink, but it is and I'm here for it. And okay. That could have gone a lot worse. That could have gone. Wait, pink nose, of course. I'm using acrylic wash because I felt like I might need some like really strong things that, strong things, hi. Strong like visual elements that really um, helped me kind of pull some things together, right? So it's like a teddy cat. It's like a cross between a teddy bear and a cat. I. I'm at a complete loss with that one. I just don't know. Uh, oh, goodness. Well, we might as well just throw me into the fire. This could be a complete disaster. And be okay with there being disasters. Be okay with it. Okay, Bunny. Bunny, while I'm avoiding. <laughs> bunny needs a pink nose. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, that's a very snooty bunny. But... Maybe I should just do try another cat. Like, I almost feel like could. All right, just Christy, go. Just go. Cat face, like little cat elbow, like he's right. You feel me? And then the plentiful cat toes of, of before. Now, I am super not sure what I'm doing here, so I'm going to just go in and establish what I know to be quite cat-like, right? This cat, I want him to be... Okay, I'm totally being inspired by the original artist with these, like, angry, like, frown lines. Okay, and then I'm thinking, like, is the cat, like, got his butt up in the air? Not sure. And then, I mean, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's just some surface. I'll repeat it over here. And then we are gonna do big, fatty, fatty, crazy kitty cat tail. 
with some stripes or something like I'm I'm getting like a Cheshire cat kind of vibe all right um it's weird definitely weird get some more like tiger stripes over here and then maybe some over here and then we will just like mix media some magic into this but it's not horrible I'm not like sad I'm just a little confused with what I've done but it's okay Definitely a pink nose. Do things in these kind of paintings that make you feel good. The pink additions make me feel good because like, of course, cartoon weirdo cartoon creatures have pink fluorescent pink noses. I mean, of course they do. Oh, this is fun though. Friends, I hope you're painting along with me. If you have plans to try this blob technique and push yourself out of the comfort zone, you know, do the blob flowers first, go for it. But I'd love for you to consider trying to do the blob creatures because it's so good for your brain. My brain feels so energized right now. I don't like those stripes though. I wished I hadn't, I don't know what it is. My brush strokes, I mean, it's just too small of a spot. I don't know, we'll see what we can do about them. I like the striped tail. You know what we can do about them? I'll show you what we can do about them. We can do this. We can just blendy blend. And then y'all, when it, this is dry, I'm kind of lifting, I'm swiping the excess acrylic gouache off. Don't mingle this acrylic gouache. If you're using acrylic or acrylic gouache with watercolor, keep them separate. They will contaminate each other. And we don't want that. So I'm, I'm like rinsing in a very clean container. And then I'm gonna come back in here and like dab in some fluorescent yellow just to like, Oh, oh yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That's fun. Okay. All right. This is wild. We're going to come, probably going to come back to him because um, I want to see what I can do about those stripes because I liked them when I first laid them down, right? And then I feel like, what's happening over here? What What are you? Like a little white spot that time forgot. Um, okay. That's made me feel good i figured that out this is wild like oh my gosh maybe this is my children's book that i've always wanted to write maybe this is like the cast of characters <laughs> i don't know and you're like no don't do that please don't do that i was really hoping one of my blobs would be worthy of an elephant but i'm not i'm not sure i can pull that off We've got two of these bad boys down here. Not getting a, an immediate vibe. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go for it, y'all. I'm seeing a bun, so like a profile. Now, I was not planning on doing portraiture. I never plan on doing portraiture. I am not a portraiture kind of gal. It freaks me right the heck out. But I'm getting a strong, like, jaw moment here oh gosh uh <clears throat> bangs maybe and there's a nose here y'all there's a nose so i'm gonna go i'm just gonna i'm just gonna follow it but then what did i do with the mouth oh okay all right all right, it's not it's not horrible. It's not great. It's really not great. Um, don't panic. Never panic. Maybe this is kind of like a Roman sculpture representation of a person. Maybe the bangs need to come out here more. I do not know. Um I I okay. Um, but still, no, not, not so great. Uh, but again, friends, don't, don't be mad at yourself. Don't be unkind to yourself when you're doing something that's just like really, really on your weird radar because it's okay. It's like, okay, it's an experiment. It's not the end of the world. Hey, it's been a long time. I feel like, is there an ear here? Should there be an ear, like a hint, like maybe a big hoop? I don't know, but apparently I'm putting a hoop there. Talk yourself through this situation, okay? Talk yourself through. Now, the other thing I could do 
besides what did I do to the nose? Like why? Why did this happen? Why did this get weird? Let me know in comments why you think I lost all sense of my nose. Like why did that happen? What did I do wrong? My portrait people, portrait people. Whoop, there it's not. Whoop, there it's not. Okay, we're gonna stop. Um, it's not, it's my least favorite. Call it out, call it like it is. But you know, we're we're in experiment land here. We are. Okay, and another really important point, friends, is not to oh gosh, did that make it worse? I think that made it worse. Is not to like dwell on the things you really don't like. I want you to dwell on the things that you really do like. And for me, that is this bun situation. I'm here for it. And let's not screw it up, Christy Rice. I want, I want to get a little cheeky, kind of like that. I see those like fashion illustrators that do this really cool stuff and they like, um, make little obvious circles on the cheeks and I always think it's so darling. So here's my moment and we're just gonna fuss in the hair a little bit. I'm gonna fuss in the hair and you know, all's well that ends okay enough. All right, all's well that ends okay enough. Okay, we're gonna get out of there right now. Um, are we, are we or am I just gonna continue to fuss budget with this? I feel, you know what it is I didn't I didn't like I didn't leave any space between the lips and the that's better right there that's better that is better that is better you think you're watching this like Christy move move on move on get over it move on all right I am I'm moving on okay this one I am getting gorilla from behinds I don't know if I should be doing this, but I'm going to. I'm getting like gorilla sitting, mind in his business, kind of like telling, you know, everybody else in the jungle, like, leave mama be. And we all know that gorillas have very obvious butt cheeks, so I'm here for it. All right. So gorilla, he's got like, or she, we've already established that this is a she. Miss, Miss Gorilla here has got some like some serious awesome snack going on that she do not want to share. All right. And there's Gorilla Mama's foot. I don't know if the head should be bigger. Again, I am just full on going from memory here. And then like, I don't know, is she sitting on a rock? I think she is rock giving this kind of a rock feel and if you're enjoying this if you're enjoying this absolute like madness journey that I have taken you on today that is so different from what I normally do please let me know because um I I think I I need a little lift in my in my spirit uh because I'm I'm really I'm going out on a a Christie limb here. Okay, kind of like, you know how like when you see gorillas at the zoo, I don't know, do we still do zoos or is that like not cool anymore? I haven't been to a zoo in ages, but they kind of like, you know, they sit very like human like. Um, they've got their hand on their knee. So I'm getting that vibe there. I don't know why I put so much line work in mama's butt cheek, but I did. So yeah, definitely this is this is feeling it. I'm feeling it. All right. All right, get out, get out, get out. Okay, and then let's, oh, I just contaminated my palette. I just broke my own law. Okay, if it happens, if you contaminate your watercolor palette like I did it in the mixing tray, just act fast. That's all. Everything will be fine. Just act fast. A little rock, a little. Okay, we've got one more. We've got one more. And who the heck knows where this is gonna take us? All right, is it another cat? So here's the thing, friends, I'm forcing myself and I'm gonna invite you as well to just, you know, don't take too much time in the thinking of all the things, right? Like don't don't take too much time there. Um, I'm just gonna do a wackadoodle creature. 
this this I have no like presumption presumptions is that a word about what type of critter this is it's probably very likely going to be something yeah this is an imaginary creature for sure for sure okay um big cheeks big belly I'm just like super obsessed like this particular line here like I was like, oh, creature with a big belly. I love it. I love it. Okay, kind of some back action here. Is this some type of foot? It's going to have to be. Or this poor creature is kind of like, has no stability. Like a cool like comb over, right? A little comb over. Maybe a little hair. A little hair. Yeah. I have no idea. Anybody got any ideas of what this creature could be? If you think he also is very imaginary looking, like, do you have a name for this creature? Let's think of a name for this little doodad. I actually think she's kind of cute. I definitely think it's a she. I don't know. Are you with me? I think this is a she. And I mean, the hair. She's got some really sweet hair. And of course the eyelashes. I mean, let's not let's not overlook the eyelashes. Um, really cool beak, which I'm gonna have to make orange. I'm trying to think of a way to give her a little hand action here. Like almost like maybe she's like got a, a baby creature in the bun oven and she's like holding her little baby bun belly. I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm like speaking in a different language. What is happening? Maybe she's got a bracelet on. A little bracelet action for mama. Okay. So this is a pregnant, some type of creature. Uh, that is all I know. Let's add a little fun to definitely highlight these cheeky cheeks. Yes. And then let's get some orange action in the beak. That's too much paint. Yes. Woo! Okay. Definitely too much paint. That's okay. Um, I love it. Little, just a few little wispies. Little wispy of the orange in the hair. I don't know what's happening. This is quite quite the comb over situation but and then let's put a little heart on mama creature's belly in my other business our wedding invitation business um one of our longtime employees at the time of recording she just had her own little bambino arrive today so maybe I've got that on the brain. We're so excited. Congratulations, Emily and family. All right. Little bambino in the belly. All right, friends. You gotta let me know. What do you think? Do you want to try this? Or are you just in the mood for something super realistic and loosey-goosey watercolor now? And if you are, go ahead and watch this video next. I hope this was definitely happy painting for you.